It's an important question because Rum Punch Brunch is a very diverse audience of all age groups. But Big up Rum Punch Brunch, that is it. Special night. We have a true icon in dance or music in the building. That is Spice. And we're talking about 25 years of impact in this industry. We're talking about chart topping hits. We're talking about Grammy nominations. We're talking about 400 million streams on Spotify. This is a living legend. You understand what I'm saying? And she is celebrating 25 years in this industry with the release of our new album, Mirror 25. Now, if you know, you know that Spice lives in Atlanta. And guess what she decided to do? She chose Rock Punch Brunch to come here and vibe with you and share this big accomplishment. It's a major look. Now, let me tell you something. Spice flight from Miami was cancelled this morning and she drove here. She drove here. We never gave you an announcement saying maybe another time. She made it happen. Right? So we're just going to give her flowers, show her some love and get into the mind of Spice for a little bit. Because there's nowhere else in Atlanta you can do that right now. I'm a lion. Give me a read it, man. The Queen of Dance shall see the throne. I'll ask you a question or two. You know what I'm saying? Get to know your favorite artist. Well, I'll make it quick enough because you want a party. You get what I mean? Show up, get show up, party. Loud and 
I got a couple. So Spice. Yes. We're all here from Mira 25. Right? That's 25 years in the business. Definitely. As a pioneer. It's not a small thing, it's a very big thing. As the loudest voice for women. Yes. In this business, right? Yes. In a male-dominated industry. So, the first question is, Mira 25 marks your 25th year in the music industry. Can you share more about how this album reflects your journey and your growth over the years in dance Oh, absolutely. So I started in 1999. I've been in business for 25 years because of that. Um, this album, Miro, I decided to call it Miro because I've been doing a lot of self-reflection. And in doing that self-reflection, I realized that I've overcome 25 years in a male-dominated business. You know, this business is an ever-growing business. There's a lot of super talent in the business. So to be here and look back on all the things that I've been able to achieve as a strong black woman come out of Jamaica is a big thing. It's not a small thing. So, this album is going to be like a diary for me. I'm going to be very open and vulnerable with my besties. And I call them my besties because I feel like they're my best friend. I share everything with them. I'm as real as it gets. And so Songs On It is going to be telling you about things that I've been through because I want to remind them that like them, I go through similar things. And I'm human. So I'm going to be very open. If I let the boy, them, I'm going to know sing about it, they're going to talk about it. If the boy fuck my good, never tell them. Yeah. So this is like my reflection of everything that I've been through and things that I've managed to overcome for the past 25 years. So, with that being said, like, I looked at the track list for the album and I realized that it reflects a vulnerable part of your life, right? Um, so, can you highlight a couple of tracks on this album that everybody pre-ordered? And tell us which ones are the most meaningful to you. So there's 25 songs on the album, which is the 25 songs for the 25 years. If you're going to the link in my bio on Instagram, which is at Spice Official, the link is there. If you're far away from the code, you can also scan the code that you see all around and pre-order the album. It's super important to pre-order the album because them always I say, oh, so as black people, we're gonna buy music, I wanna buy an album, but we're gonna change that. And we're gonna change it tonight. And I'm celebrating 25 years and it's a big thing. So if you wanna sound and support me, you gotta support the real way. That's why I'm here with the real besties who support me. The songs on this album, the 25 songs, what's most important is a hard question because the whole of the 25 of them is very important. And the 25 of them have its own place. I just dropped a song with Chronic Law because my male besties always say I be a girl show me a sing. So now we have a Batman song for the album where every man can sing as well. So the man can feel more involved. On Friday I'm dropping another song. Yes, we have dropped song after song, a 25 song, a whole heap of song where we can run up a song. So I want them to understand that this is going to be a very diverse album because I realize that my fan base is very open. So I'm not going to tell you, you're going to love 25 songs. Because everybody different. You are your crying and dance to the same song and you are your father that love the same song. So I'm going to sing some for my fans who is very classy, very chic, you know, where you can sing a nice little song. I'm going to sing some for the man them where, you know what, cheap and way. Yeah, I won't forget when they're the dirty man them. They will sing some Batman song. They will sing girl song. They will sing wine up. So this song is a very diverse project. So you have to go love a song for them, and I ask you, I will leave a song for them. Man, this is an important question because Rock Punch Brunch is a very diverse audience of all age groups. But Big up Rock Punch Brunch, that is it. So I want all of them to go home with something like a piece of advice from you, right? That you know can benefit them. And what I really wanted to ask you. So I watched your recent interviews, right? For the album promo. You know, when you released the album cover the other day. Yes. And um, I noticed like on all these interviews you mentioned giving advice to your younger self. And I, yes. I think that that's very valuable for them to hear. So, can you elaborate on 
a couple lessons that you learned that you wish you did earlier in your career? Um, a couple lessons that I've learned that I wish I've done earlier in my career is to have more music knowledge. I think a lot of people don't understand that there's a knowledge behind music. And so now, after celebrating 25 years, I'm actually the executive producer for this album, Mirror 25. I'm producing it. And I, thank you very much. And I'm the executive producer because I've been in a contract for 10 years with another record company. And that's because I signed when I was very young. Let me stand up so they can see me. Come on, I'm not a joke. I signed when I was very young. And I got my first international billboard song from Vibes Cartel. Free the world, man. It climbed up on the Billboard Charts America that we didn't even expect it. So I was very young and I didn't have music knowledge. So when they approach you, I tell them, say, see one of the I sign this. You like an idiot, run go sign this big contract and then you're stuck for the rest of your career. And so that's what happened to me. So even if I, even when I had, so let me just explain something to you. I never get a check out for something like it and that's my biggest record. And people don't really understand the depth of music and the things that happen behind the scenes. When we did Rock and Shop, which is also one of my big records, we did it on Neo's beat. That was a, it wasn't an original beat because that came off of Miss Independence. So you don't know this, so we are So when I say music knowledge, I want people to understand if you're coming into music and the business, you gotta understand that there is a knowledge behind the music. So you can know about publishing. So you can know how to make money when you really put up these songs. So I've only been making money off of my shows. But there's another side to music when it comes to publishing and say, well, you don't know, you know the thing, you know. If they, if they, if they, you understand? So if I had known all of what I know now, when I was younger, you see, when they eat me now, they would have sick of me. Because I feel like I would have even been bigger than I am today. But I didn't know the things back then when I was putting on all these hit songs that you see me have. I don't know a lot of things, but now that I do, that's why I'm producing the Mirror 25 album by myself, because I have the knowledge uh, after 25 years of what it should be. So I would definitely tell my younger self to really just read upon the, the, the music business a little bit more. And it goes to show timing is everything, right? Absolutely. I'm not on before the time. Yeah. A lot of you guys probably, it doesn't matter what the career path that you're taking. You may look at it and you're probably going to reach with exactly where you want to reach. But always remember, I started from 1999. That's why we keep on reminding us that a small thing is a big thing. And 24, 2024 marks 25 years. So you know, it's a long time you're trying on this. This is not an overnight success. A work for work hard for this. It took a lot of hard work and prayer, dedication, consistency to make it to where I am. And that's why no matter what they want, no matter what they try, they can't hear me back down because this is a lot of blocks that I've been building for 25 years to reach where I'm at right now. So keep going. Never give up and believe in yourself. Yeah, don't punch first. Make some nice or spice. When I hear them knowledge, it's wisdom. I ask you one last question. <laughs> so I heard from a bird that one of your dream collaborations is with Beyonce. Big up yourself, she's by the bar. All right. So, I want to ask you this, because you're our Beyonce, right? Aww. So, I want to ask you, like, what aspects of her artistry inspire you? And what type of color do you think you're going to be? Um, in terms of artistry, you know what can't take from Beyonce that she's a damn good stage performer. I would never ever, I don't know if, one thing women want, you know, we see her performing as a heel sometime and I dance and I'm like, damn, for me I always have to kick off my shoes. So, 
But in a whole aspect they've got, but the fact that she's so resilient and she's so meticulous. We have similarities when it comes down to stage performances. We go extra hard when it comes down to delivering a great show. And that is one thing that I definitely admire about her. So I'm gonna ask five people ask Slice a question. Five best to make sure you are, make sure you allow the ones who bought the album to ask the question. The if real you have best a blue wristband, full a blue. A blue wristband. You got a oh, here's the one right there. There he is. The real best to them. The real best to them. If you got a real best to them. Big smoke spice crazy. Picture 
just real quick with the best is who bought the album. So we're gonna find a little corner over there in the corner. And if you bought the album, all you have to do is come over there and we take some pictures. Real best is the real thing. You can't come come say congratulations if you never support that journey. So don't be taking pictures with who bought the album. Let her come. She's one of the real best today. You gotta buy your album now. Yeah, please. We're going over here. Hey. Oh, 